Listeners and subscribers, hope all is well. Well, I guess I have some explaining to do. For my regular subscribers, uh, you may have noticed I've been gone for some time. I think almost about a month now. Uh, what had happened was my computer essentially crashed. I had I hadn't optimized it or updated it, uh, cleaned my hard drive in a while to make sure that things were functioning properly, so I went ahead and, and did that, some some regular maintenance that I had missed out on. And um, something went wrong, I, I might have deleted a file or disabled something I wasn't supposed to, and my computer didn't start. So I thought I had lost all my files and all my information, I wasn't able to get it uh, up, up and running for like at least a week or two. And then finally, after doing some digging, because I do have some experience with IT, it just took me a while to get to it, um, I was able to back up all my files onto an external hard drive. I reset my computer to factory settings. Now, this is it would have been a lot easier if I had the disks to do this. I didn't have any of the disks. This is a second-hand, beat-up, clunky laptop. It's over 10 years old. Uh, so it, it, took, it took some doing, but... I was able to get this restored to factory settings, I optimized it, I installed all my programs on it, um, and, and it looks like it's ready to go. So if you don't know a lot about my setup, my, my setup initially when I started California Carter consisted of two different laptops. I had to use my wife's Mac to record the audio and then my Windows laptop to overlay the relevant uh, imagery and videos over that audio. So the process was quite quite cumbersome using two different machines to, to to do my process here. The issue was that my Windows PC or my Windows laptop wasn't wasn't recording audio properly. And I don't know if it's still recording audio properly. This is the best I've ever got it to to record and work in tandem with a screen capture. For those of you who, who don't know, uh, a screen capture is when you're able to capture all the visuals on your on your desktop or your laptop while talking so if you don't know this this Peter Strzok thing here uh, this is live this is me talking over screen capture which is something I was not able to do before before I had to record like I said my audio my voice on my wife's computer and then um, overlay the relevant video and imagery um, over that so I would essentially screen capture on my computer then read what I said on that screen capture out loud to, to my wife's computer and then have to take that audio file and put it back over to the video and it, again it was quite cumbersome so right now what I'm what I'm doing is I found this uh, screen capture program where I'm able to record the, the screen and talk all in one so essentially I've consolidated my equipment I'm doing all of my video editing audio recording uh, research all on one computer it's 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 it's, it's great um, before it, it was just it was such a troublesome task now I think things are going to be even easier and smoother so hopefully this audio comes out okay um, I did a, do a few test runs before and it seemed fine the, the playback seemed great as well we have this little flickering cursor but that's fine um, yeah I'm showing you this here I have been aware of what's been going on the, the past couple of weeks I did watch the, the Peter Strzok hearing uh, man it, it was cringeworthy and it was long um, I also know about the series of quakes that just happened uh, today. Today is the 24th um, of July, 2018, and I had, I think it was four or five earthquake alerts go off on my cell phone. I, I have apps on my phone that alert me to earthquakes, volcanoes, uh, natural disasters, stuff like that, breaking news. So I, I was informed about that stuff, and that's typically where I get my, my, my breaking news from my, my updates and I'll, I'll go out and do a research on an article or a news story or a headline and, and test its validity and if it if it needs commentary, if I feel it needs commentary, I'll go out and then make a video or do some commentary on that. So it's quite unfortunate I've been missing some of the, the stories like the Peter Strzok and the uh, oh, Stand Your Ground which just happened. Um, so I, I, again, I am aware of these things that are going on here. It was just unfortunate I wasn't able to, to do, to have the proper time to go out and do the research and, and give sort of a, uh, an, un, an unbiased opinion piece on it, I guess, if such a thing exists. Um, 
But I, I, I do want to talk about something, if not about the, the stories that happened within the past three weeks. Um, one, one big story that, I, that I've seen. Uh, we know that President Trump has been a busy little bee. Depending on, on who you are, you've been paying attention. He's met, and I've got these tabs up here, this is great. He's met with uh, the Chancellor of Germany, Angela Merkel, uh, the British Prime Minister, Theresa May, and, and again, some of you may have watched the, the press uh, conferences and, and things with these individuals. He met with the Queen, you know, walked awkwardly with the Queen. Uh, as you know, he just met with Vel uh, Vladimir Putin, which was after the Kim Jong-un, and before the Kim Jong-un, he met with Justin Trudeau at the G7 summit, and we saw the fallout from that. Now, um, the reason why I point that out, I mean, it's so convenient to have these guys up here. The reason why I point, you know, Trump meeting up with these guys here is because we saw similar similar meetups with, with on the international geopolitical level uh, before World War One and World War II. Um, leaders got together and, and talked, and we saw the the, the following sequence of events. Uh, I'm just wondering if something similar like that might be happening now. We see we see Trump very active in meeting these leaders. Uh, he's not the only one. Xi Jinping, which is uh, let's, let's get a picture of him right here if we can. Uh, Xi Jinping, he met with. Uh, Kim Jong Un twice before Trump even did, and Putin invited Kim to talk as well. Uh, right now, we're currently, I I, th I think officially we would say we're in a trade war with China, the United States. So I think th there's just a lot of things happening on that level, and right now the media is more concerned with the, the nuance of things rather than uh, what's really being what's, what's really playing out, and that's that's. I think that's a trademark characteristic of them to, to downplay sort of the, the geopolitical aspects or, or to, to hone in on, on some of the less relevant parts of it. Especially, uh, I, I, have, I have a good, a good example of that. Where is that? With, with the stand your ground, um, anything that deals with, with gun control or, or, or race, you know, ethnicity, immigration, class, these, these are at the forefront of political polarization right now. Um, so you have to you really have to approach these topics carefully. Who you talk with them about, how you, how you talk to them, uh, these are sensitive subjects. Now, it's, it's also worth mentioning in terms of things like gun control and what we see here with, with the standard ground is that there's a push for agenda there. You have to understand there. There's any time something comes up with with, with class and, and, and race and, and gender and guns, there's there's an agenda there. Um, whether you think it's a it's a liberal agenda or a, a a new world order type thing, you know that's that's personal preference. But the reality is, uh, you you kind of have to approach this from two different levels. You kind of got to approach it from from those who are in the know and they understand. Uh, Sort of the nefarious underpinning of, of of what's going on. We would say, shadow networks and dubious individuals trying to circumvent altruistic and, and kosher political mechanisms, if, if there exists such a thing. Uh, that the media is inflaming the, the rhetoric with, with the civil war meme. Maybe you've heard about the left and the right becoming increasingly more polarized. So much so that. Uh, What's being talked about in the alternative communities and even breaching in the mainstream is this idea of civil war between the two parties. Now, I, I'm not endorsing that wholeheartedly. I, I take it with a grain of salt and healthy skepticism because I understand that the numbers of individuals um, who fall on the extreme, and uh, I, would, I would say, I, I would say, yeah, the individuals who fall on the, the extreme ends of the spectrum are considerably smaller than many might anticipate. Uh, the reality is when you, when you do the research and you're actually talking to these people, individuals fall more often than not on the, the moderate, sensible, reasonable end of the spectrum, not, ex not necessarily the, the far or extreme ends. Uh, and that's, that's just the facts, but it is increasingly more so that people on the left and the right are willing to engage in, in the type of behavior that could escalate into something like a civil war. 
uh, particularly with the left. Now, I've, I've done this before, but let's just, just do it now. Liberal on one. Let's see. Liberal definition. There it is. So, open to new behaviors or opinions and willing to discard traditional values. Now, if you're open to new behaviors and new ideas, you might find it, at least from the outside looking in, sort of hypocritical that the first thing, maybe not the first thing, but what we've been seeing play out are these instances where um, liberals or those who fall on the left, Democrats, whatever your word, have been assaulting and, and stealing from conservatives. Um, we, saw, we see this with the MAGA hats. And, and again, the only reason why I point this out is because those who, who are saying they subscribe to the ideals of the left, which, which were generally more, more opening and, and welcoming and a, and a, a type of uh, behavior that we wouldn't necessarily find um, we wouldn't find appropriate. Uh, the reason why I'm pointing this out is because those individuals who, who claim to, to hold a moral standard, I mean, they, they are at least pretending like they do, um, are the first ones to run across the street and snatch a hat off of somebody and, and verbally and physically assault them because of their beliefs. Uh, I don't think that's okay. I, I think when we're, when we're getting to that point, I think that that is part of the, that's part, part of the plan there. Um, we see these narratives playing out in the mainstream, and these narratives get hijacked. Um, typically, you, you would find people who are welcoming to discussion about ideas that they don't necessarily agree with, but increasingly more, we're finding it, um, we're finding that that's not the case. We're finding that people are less willing to engage in logical, sensible, reasonable um, discussions and are more going for the throat. They, they go for the, the things that people disagree with the most. Uh, and I think that, that the media is playing a huge part in that by perpetuating this idea that you know the, the, the left is constantly at odds with the right no matter what they do. Um, we, we know that the, the two parties don't agree with each other, but the fact that the idea that they want to go to an all-out war um, right now, I don't think, I just don't agree with that. I think that if, we, if we're if we paying attention to what's going on, uh, we might you might find that that's not the case, but we're being coaxed into that more and more. But uh, I think I'm going to leave it there. There's, there's a lot more I could have talked about. There's a lot more I will talk about. This is a, just sort of a short update video. You know, where have I been? What have I been doing? Um, how come I haven't been... Uh, online. I am back. I am excited to be back. I'm planning on buying some uh, equipment when I get the money, uh, an auxiliary microphone to to record better. That way I can still keep the, the, the one laptop as my, my machine and have a, uh, a microphone that will pick up the fan noises and, and the other uh, minute sounds. And uh, a camera so I can, I can document things a little bit better uh, on the spot, and I, I know I can always use my phone, but I have the hardest time transferring the videos that I create from my phone to my PC and then in, into a, a video editor. Oftentimes there's there's things uh, I, I've said I wanted to edit out or, or things I wanted to add in. It, it was it's just very difficult, so I think it'll be easier if I if I can get myself a, some, some equipment there and uh, you know maybe build the channel up that way, uh, give you guys some more live visual streams rather than uh, what I what I had to do, which was you know, record audio separately and, and do video on a, on a screen capture on a different PC. I mean, it, it made things so cumbersome. Uh, I'm hoping this, this comes out okay and, and renders correctly so I don't have to do it again. And um, and if it does, I think I'll, I'll get the ball rolling on getting some more videos out this week. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I expect some more. And we'll, we'll be playing around here, and we'll, we'll build up the channel. Take care.